In this video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to create a full e-commerce website in just a matter of minutes. Hi, my name is Adam from WPCrafter.com where I make WordPress tutorial videos for non-techies. If you're new here, consider clicking on the subscribe button. If you don't want to miss a thing, click on the bell off to the right. YouTube will let you know when I have a new video and we're going to be looking at the Astra theme today in this video. Let me show you what we are building. Right here is the website and we're building a whole website but this is what the WooCommerce e-commerce platform is going to look like. It's going to show us our products in this beautiful grid right here and then in this video I'm going to show you how we made this beautiful pricing page right here or product page that features your products and then this is how beautiful our shopping cart is when someone puts an item in the shopping cart and lastly this is going to be our perfectly looking checkout page for this shopping cart and if you noticed let me get out of the picture there's this beautiful little shopping cart badge in the header when someone hovers over it it's going to show them exactly what's in the shopping cart and give them a chance to go to the cart or check out let me show you what that's going to look like real quick if I hover over it, there it is, the product, the, the cart button and the checkout button and someone can even remove a product if they chose to. We're going to do this all in this video. It's not going to be a long video because this is so easy to implement it. So let's not waste any time. Let's just go ahead and get started. So here I am in a fresh installation of WordPress. So the first thing we need to do is install the Astra theme. And the way we do that was we go to appearance and then we click on themes. And this shows us the themes we have installed. We're gonna go ahead and click on add new and then click on the popular tab or go where it says search themes and enter Astra. So I just entered Astra and right here you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and click on the install button. It's gonna download this to your WordPress installation and then click on activate. Now because I'm using some new features that are gonna be released in a matter of days, not weeks, days. So if you're watching this video in a couple days this is gonna be added and you're gonna follow this step. I need to install the beta version that is going to be released here real soon so I'm gonna go ahead and actually delete Astra and manually install it through the version that I have downloaded okay now I've installed this version that I manually downloaded but don't worry if you're watching this in a couple days you'll be able to do it just by searching for Astra and installing it right there so next thing we want to do is we want to install a plugin called Astra sites so I'm gonna to go to plugins add new and on the search area here, I'm going to enter Astra again. And here it is, the first result, Astra Starter Sites. I'm going to click on Install Now. And then I'm going to go ahead and activate this. Now, what this plugin is going to do is allow us to, just with a few mouse clicks, have an entire website built for us in a matter of seconds. So I'm going to go ahead and activate that. And now I want to go to Appearance. And there's this new option right here that says Astra Sites. So let's go ahead and click on that. Now the first thing is, do you want this to be based on the Beaver Builder, Page Builder, or Elementor? For this example, I'm gonna click on Elementor. Now there's many different websites to choose from, but I'm gonna choose a particular one, and that is this Auto Repair uh, template down here. I must have skipped over it. I always have a tendency to do this. Oh, and it was right there the whole time, this car repair template. But you can see there's so many high quality templates that are practical to actually use. So I'm going to go ahead and click on here where it says details and preview. Then I'm going to click this button here that says install plugins. It's going to install a contact form plugin so that you can receive uh, information that people give you via a contact form. It's going to install Elementor, the page builder, and it's going to also install a bundle that will allow you to add buttons and things like that. And just like the one we see in the top right. So it's just going to download and install the those. Okay, now that that is done, we want to click right here where it says import this site. We get this message here that's saying you really only want to do this on a brand new WordPress installation. So I'm going to go ahead and click on OK. So right now it's going to download all the pages, the menus. It's going to configure everything for you. It's going to download the images. So this just might take a moment or two. And just like that, 
it's done. So now what I want to do is click on this X here to um, shrink this demo and now we're back into WordPress. So now what we need to do is install the e-commerce platform called WooCommerce. So we're going to go to plugins and we're going to click on add new and we can do a search for it right here. Just enter WooCommerce. Now WooCommerce is the leading e-commerce platform, not just for WordPress, but in general, they are the leading e-commerce platform. So I'll go ahead and click on install now. Now this one might take maybe a minute to download and install. And right after we activate it, it's gonna take us through sort of an onboarding process with several steps, and we're gonna have to make some choices, but I'm gonna walk you through all those choices right now in this video. Okay, so now it's downloaded. All I have to do is click on the activate button and it should push us right on into that onboarding sequence and here it is. So we need to just go through these steps. So the first thing is we need to specify where the store is based. So for me, I'm in the United States and I'm specifically in California. Now you have to put in your address here. I'm going to put in a PO box and then right here we, we can choose the currency. So it's automatically switched from pounds to dollars because of the choice that I made where the store is based. Now right here we need to let WooCommerce know for selling virtual products physical products are or both so by default it says right here it's selected both now don't worry if you choose the wrong thing here because you can always go back and change it later so i'm going to just leave this at both now this last thing here is a checkbox that is you saying it's okay for data that's collected in on your WooCommerce store to go to WooCommerce for them to analyze. This is just to identify bugs and to see how people are actually using it. I'm kind of a private guy, so I like to uncheck that. I don't want my information shared. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill this address. See if I click on let's go, it's not gonna let me go without putting in an address. So I'm gonna put in an address and then I'm gonna click let's go. Okay, so here I am on the second step and this is what I I want to use to collect payments. You have several options that are included for free with WooCommerce. The first option is Stripe. Anyone can go to stripe.com, get a free merchant account. There's no real approval process and there is no monthly cost or anything. You just pay 2.9% of every transaction. Plus I believe it's 30 cents per transaction. These are typical costs in order to receive a credit card payment on the internet. So for me, um, I can leave Stripe on, you can turn it on or off, you can change this later. They do have a process here, I haven't tried it out, where if you check this box, it will actually go through the process of setting up a Stripe account for you. I'm not gonna go through that in this video. And then right here, if you also wanted to accept PayPal or maybe not Stripe and just PayPal, you could do that. Now, I will say the top PayPal option here, you need a certain level of a PayPal account. It's not just the normal PayPal account that everyone has. This PayPal standard is the normal PayPal account that everyone has where when you turn it on, you just put in your PayPal payment email address and that's how it's all done. So I can go ahead and leave that on. You also have the option to collect offline payments right here. This would be payments via check or one of these other options, cash on delivery. I'll leave those off and go ahead and click on continue to go to the next step. Now this is the step about shipping. So obviously if you have a physical product, you need to know how you're going to charge for shipping or maybe you're not going to charge for shipping. So right here we have these shipping methods. Now some of these steps in the WooCommerce process, WooCommerce is going to try to install additional plugins that you may not want. And this is actually one of those steps right here. It says right here, if you have this set to live rates, WooCommerce is going to install WooCommerce services and it's going to install another plugin called Jetpack. So this is what it is right here. If you are going to choose for the shipping method, live rates. Now I personally like to buy 
things from stores where the shipping is free or maybe it's just a fixed shipping cost. So you could choose flat rate or you could choose free shipping. So for this, I'm just gonna go ahead and choose free shipping. And right here, I'm gonna choose free shipping as well internationally, but you have all these options. The live rates essentially is they'll put this plugin in so you can put information on every product and it can dynamically figure out what your cost is going to be to ship it. I'm not going to cover that in this video, but I do have in about three weeks time coming out a full WooCommerce tutorial dedicated to WooCommerce where we dive a little deeper into these different options here. And then you would choose how you weigh things, whether it's ounces or kilograms or pounds or whatever, and your dimensions. So I'm going to go ahead and just move forward to the next step. Now, right here is another step where they try to see if you want this, you have to also opt into additional plugins being installed. And that is this automated taxes. Now, this might be good if you have to charge tax for dynamically for the areas that you ship it to. I know in the United States, it's pretty complicated. So I live in California and there's all these different counties in California that all have their own different sales tax rate that I would have to charge. So this is one where you might say, you know, it's actually good to have this WooCommerce services because they will update that for me as things change and it's pretty complex. But I'm going to leave this off right now. I'm going to go ahead and click on continue. And this is another step where they're trying to get me. You can see they really want you to get this Jetpack and WooCommerce services. This is another step where they want to put Jetpack. And this is a plugin that adds some stuff to WooCommerce that isn't so crucial, but it adds a bunch of other stuff. And I typically don't like to have Jetpack on my websites. So instead of clicking on connect with Jetpack, I'm going to go here where it says skip this step because I don't want Jetpack particularly on this site. So here we are in the last step right here I can create a product manually or I can import products from a CSV file what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on instead I'm gonna go to return to dashboard now you're gonna notice there are a few new options here that weren't here before mainly WooCommerce and products so before I get move forward in this process I'm going to import some dummy products into WooCommerce so I can demonstrate all the ways that it's going to integrate with this website that we've built. So what I need to do is I need to go to tools, I need to go to import, and here's some options, but what I want is this WordPress import right here. So I'm going to click on install now. It's going to download and install this plugin so I'll be able to import these dummy products into WooCommerce. So now I'm going to click on run importer and I have this import file right here and I'm going to drag and drop it right there. I'm going to click on upload file and import. This is just for me to uh, demonstrate the WooCommerce integration better is to install the or import these dummy products. So we'll essentially have a store that is full of products with images and everything. And we'll be able to better demonstrate how this is done. Like I said, I will be having a full in-depth tutorial on WooCommerce and it's going to be how to add products and all the different options there that are the most used options, certainly, but all the options so you have a full understanding of that and also go through the various WooCommerce options so that you have a full understanding of that as well. Okay, so this import is done. Now, the next thing that I want to do is add the shop item to the menu. So if I go to the WordPress site or if I go to the front end of this site right now, this is what we see. There isn't anything new other than we have this new shopping cart badge in the header, but I want to add a menu item that says shop. So first thing I'm going to do is go to appearance and then I'm going to go to menus. Now what happens is when we installed WooCommerce and went through that process, it added the essential pages to WordPress that WooCommerce needs, mainly a a shopping page and this is where all your products are going to be in a list uh, also 
a checkout page and a cart page, a cart and then a checkout page. So I want to add this shop page to my menu. So here's my menu and here's the shop page. So I'm going to click on this checkbox here, click on add this to menu. And let's make that the second menu item right there. Now I have to click on save menu for it to actually be saved. So when I go here to the front end of the website and do a refresh, we have this new shop option right here. So when I click on the shop option right here, it's going to show me the products and it, you can see it's already looking great. It's already looking branded and that's because the Astra theme, the way they've integrated WooCommerce is it's automatically going to pull the color scheme from the colors that you've already set up for your website. So it will always be perfectly branded. Now I want to go and first take a look at some of these options that you have available in the customizer for WooCommerce. So here's this customize option right here. There's also another way of getting into the customizer. It's under appearance and then right here where it says customize. So you can click on that and it's going to take us into all of the settings and options we have for this theme and this WordPress site. But since we're going to look at the WooCommerce ones, I want to go ahead and click on the shop page so that we can see these different options that we have available to us. So the first thing I want to look at is, is the layout. So you can see this is a layout where we have our products here on the left and then we have a sidebar. Obviously I haven't put any widgets into this sidebar and I probably actually don't want the sidebar there. So what I'm going to do is click on the layout option right here and then I'm going to go ahead and click on the container option. And here we have the WooCommerce layout options. Now it's actually set to what I want, the default, which is tied to this right here. There are other options. You could go boxed content boxed and you can also do stretched. I'm going to leave that there. This is not actually where I get rid of the sidebar. So let me go back and we have this option here that says sidebar. So when I click on this, here is the setting where I can control this sidebar. So right here for WooCommerce, it's set to default, which is to show this right sidebar. I'm going to go ahead and change this to no sidebar because I just want to show the products at this stage. And then here we are, we're getting larger images here. Now we can actually add in, we can add products to each row right now it's set to show a grid of three products I might want to change that to four uh, and for single products let me click into a single product so you can see what that looks like and we could decide if we want the sidebar so right here is the single product and then here's a blank sidebar where we could put some widgets in. I think for a single product, I also want to get rid of the sidebar. So instead of default, I'm going to go no sidebar on that as well. Now you can also have full control over the width of the sidebar right here. So next I'm going to back up a little bit and I'm going to go into these specific WooCommerce options and here are, let's just go through them. We have our general options, which is to show this cart in the menu. So you have it in the menu right now. I can uncheck that and it will disappear. Next we have our shop options. So let me go back into the shop by clicking on shop right here. And this is where we can choose how many products we want or how many columns which is how many products we want in a row. Right now it's set to three, but I can increase that to four. This would essentially allow me to show more products at the same time. I think four looks a little better if you're not going to have a sidebar. And then right here we could choose how many products per page. So right now it's set to nine, which probably isn't a good number because that was three rows of three, which is nine. So here we might want to make it eight or 12. So we can have either no a third row or a full third row. So for me, I'm going to enter 12. Okay. Now that I've entered 12, you can see now we have three rows. Um, each row has four products in it, and this is looking really good so far. Now what's really nice is we could control this information right here. So 
these are the options of what I can show underneath a product image. Now I can choose to hide an item or reorder them. So right here where it says posters, this is the category, but if I didn't want to show the category, I can click on the little eye and it will just disappear. And I can totally rearrange everything as well. So if I wanted the price on the top, I can click right here and move it up and now the price will appear above the title just like that. I think it makes sense for the title to be first certainly. And if you didn't want to show the ratings we can go ahead and make that go away. And we also of course have our add to cart button there and it's looking a bit more clean there but I do like the ratings actually being there. Obviously if you have a lot of products that don't have any ratings you might want to hide the ratings because you don't have them. So I'm going to go back and now we have some single product options. So essentially our single product option is whether we want to show the breadcrumb. So let me jump into a single product right now and then I'll go ahead and show you here's the breadcrumb. I can go ahead and click on this checkbox and that breadcrumb will disappear and everything is moved up. So it's certainly up to you whether or not you want to show and dis display this breadcrumb option. So far I'm really happy with the way it's looking. We have this option here to show all the different images that we put in here for the product. We have our description, we have our reviews right here and also related products are right here in this grid right there and you saw how simple this was to set up I mean I really didn't have to configure much it was working almost perfect actually it was very perfect there's just a couple things I personally wanted to change uh, which was get rid of the sidebar but just out of the box you could see I didn't have to go into uh, five dozen different settings to make it look good. It just looked good right out of the box. So then you'd want to go ahead and click on publish to actually publish these changes that we just made. Now just in case I want to go and show you where if you did want those sidebars, I want to show you where you would go to put different widgets in them. So underneath appearance there's this option here that says widgets and you're going to see we have a couple new widget areas. So we have WooCommerce sidebar, this would be that shop page and then right here we have the product sidebar and this is where you would put the widgets for the individual products. So now let's jump into the front end of this website again and see what it looks like checking out or adding a product to your shopping cart and then checking out. So I'm going to click on shop again and here we have that beautiful grid now of four products in a row. I'll go ahead and click on the first one right here and then I'm going to go ahead and right here I'm going to choose add to cart but you have this thing here where you hover the mouse you can see the image larger and if you wanted to have this image pop up in the light box you'd click on the little uh, magnifying glass and there it is. So let me go and click out of that. So I'm going to go ahead right now and click on add to cart but do you notice how the color scheme is perfectly on brand here. It's, it's fabulous. So I'm going to click on add to cart and now what we see happen is it takes us to this message here that is also following these branded colors that shows us that the product's been added to the cart. If you look at the cart in the top right corner, it now says one. And that's just to give you a visual indicator that there's an item in the shopping cart. Now when you hover over the one, you now get to see all the items in this nice little pop-up, all the items that are actually in the cart. And there's an X to take it out of the cart if you wanted. You see your total right there. You can view the cart and you can check out. So first I'm going to click on view the cart and it could take us right in there. And I just love how perfectly minimal this cart is right here. It's your standard. WooCommerce cart but it's beautifully styled right out of the box. So I can accept coupons if you issue out coupons in your store and then I can go ahead and click on proceed to checkout and it's the same thing. The checkout is beautifully styled here on the left billing information on the right a snapshot of the order. It just looks perfectly branded out of the box. So that is pretty much everything that you're going to get in this WooCommerce integration. I think it's amazing that you can have a shop 
in just a matter of minutes on your website where you don't have to fiddle with dozens and dozens and dozens of settings where it's already overwhelming to learn this new thing of adding e-commerce, but then to have to worry about all the settings and how to get it all right and to make it fit with everything else on your site, the way that Astra has done it is it, it just perfectly integrates with the branding and the style of your site and there's very little left for you to have to do. Obviously, I just got rid of a few sidebars. We could have kept them and put widgets in there and I just tweaked how this grid looked because I wanted to fit more products in there. I really didn't have to do much else and I have this beautiful e-commerce platform integrated and what's very amazing is you notice I didn't have to buy anything. I didn't have to buy a WordPress theme. It's all in the Astra theme that is freely available. To have this beautiful website put all together, I didn't have to go and buy something. I used a free Astra starter site plugin in order to get this. And also to get this e-commerce platform where I'm now able to take payments, I didn't have to buy anything. I just in installed WooCommerce and now I have this beautiful e-commerce website. So anyways, this is a snapshot overview of how easy it is to have an e-commerce website. Now in the next two weeks, here's what you can expect. Number one, I'm gonna have a full tutorial on just WooCommerce. And number two, I'm gonna have a full site build from beginning to end, building a fully custom WooCommerce. And that's gonna be the longer tutorial where no step is skipped. I follow all the various steps from beginning A to B, to or A to Z, not A to B, <laughs> A to Z. Every single aspect of having an WooCommerce, e-commerce based website, I'm going to cover from installing the hosting, installing the plugins, everything. And that is coming as well. Sure are exciting times if you are into WordPress and you want to have a website. Things have never been this easy. Now, there is also more to come. Astra is building a professional extension in the Astra Pro version that's going to give you some additional controls in WooCommerce to further customize it to be exactly how you want it. Now, if you're not familiar with Astra, you can visit wpcrafter.com slash Astra and you can see all the information about what comes with the Astra Pro version. But as you see, it's not something that you absolutely have to have if you're just getting started. It's something that you may want if you want more powerful features in your website. But you can see there really is nothing holding you back from getting started today. So let me know what you think of this WooCommerce installation in the comments section down below. Thank you for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, thumb, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video.